We are in downtown Siem Reap, Cambodia, and we are gonna go that way, about five miles, kind of out into the middle of nowhere to a spot that I found last night, which is a uh, kickboxing arena out in the middle of nowhere on a dirt road. So that's gonna be what we do tonight. Hopefully the light will uh, be good. I don't know, it was very dark last night, but anyway, that's the plan. Five miles that way, gonna get on my bike and go there, so enjoy. Hey, we found it, you guys. We're out on this, uh, out in the middle of nowhere with all the ruckus. And uh, it's all free to get in here, so it's great. Yeah, all free, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, thank you. Okun. What's your name? Nice to see you. Chinan. Chinan? Chinha? Chanta. Chanta. Yes. Chanta. Alex. 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 Okay. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yes. yes. Thank you, guys. <laughs> so we're gonna go in, guys, and see the uh, see the fight. Check out the road. We're out in the kind of the middle of nowhere. So here we go. Well, let's see if you guys can see anything. It's. This GoPro doesn't pick up much, but anyway. Jesus Christ, is it loud. We got some monks up ahead. Kids on trampolines. And stray dogs. So guys, I was told, I came here last night and I was told that the start, uh, fights begin at 7. It's now a little bit past 7, 7.10. I was just talking to this guy over here using, <laughs> using the uh, translation because he um, only speaks Khmer, but he told me that the, f the fights actually start at 7.30 and there should be something like 400 people here tonight. So. Right now it's just very loud, as you can hear. But as we get um, up that way, it's actually a bunch of kids stuff. So let's just kind of walk up, and I'll show you what I mean. It's like a, it's like a little. I really hope you guys can see well. I don't know if you can. This GoPro is not very good at night, so I'm a little bit worried about that. But anyway, it's like a circus, but a super loud circus, primarily for kids right now. So hopefully in about 20 minutes, the fight's gonna kick off. So let's get up there. So guys, this is sort of the center of everything. Uh, somebody's obviously selling toys here, toys there, some food over there. But there's the ring. This is where everything should be uh, beginning, you know, to uh, just start happening in the next few minutes or so. Again, it's like 7.15 now, but there's hardly anybody here. Last night I was here, I think I probably came over here pretty late, like around 11, I guess. Just out driving and like happened upon this place. But then the, the fights were like ending, so I didn't see anything. So I decided to come back tonight. And uh, this is where we're at. It is incredibly loud here. I don't know if anybody's gonna be able to hear me or really see anything, but that's how it goes. And the, uh, wow, look at these little bikes. These are great. That's a pretty killer prize for a kid. So guys, as we get, obviously there's all that noise back there, like the, the 
the fighting music. It's just everywhere we go, it's noise, noise, noise. And then, guys, as we get up to this bridge, it's even louder. And all the way up there, like those lights, Everything. So it's a hello, hi. So it's like the end of uh, the rides and stuff. So it's all like a family, like fair kind of atmosphere. And then again, the fight ring back there is like the epicenter of everything. So, so hopefully we're gonna see see some good fights tonight. Um, like I just said back there, there should be about 400 people here. I don't know if I even said that, but I was using Google Translate and I asked the guy back at the gate there how many people to expect and he said 400 or I think that's what he signaled to me. So let's uh, let's find it. Everybody's I'm getting stairs around here too. It's kind of unique. Nobody pays attention to me elsewhere in CM Reap, but we're like five miles outside of the epicenter of everything. That kid want a bike, man. That's a great little toy. I would have killed to have that bike when I was a kid. All right, guys, we have some kind of uh, some kind of betting going on right here. I don't know what this is. Happy little kid. But check this out. Oh man, this is great. What is, do you speak English? What's this game? Patro. Patro? Patro? Okay. Winner, yeah? Yes. Ah. So guys, I think that's the rules for uh, Klaklu? Klaklu. Klaklu. Klaklu, guys. So I don't have any idea what the rules are to this. Clearly there's some some dice in there. It has something to do with that. If anybody knows the rules, let me know. But it's quite a wholesome scene because it's good to see kids this young gambling. I love it. Uh, all right, guys. I've been I've been watching for like a couple minutes. This game has nothing to do with uh, the bugs at all. I'm a complete idiot. It's literally you just bet on you put your money down on whatever whatever you like, and then uh, it doubles up if you get it right. So this kid right here got fish. He put a thousand. Let's see if he gets a fish. Ah, no fish, man. His money's gone. So he just rolls the dice, and that's it. So today, hello. But uh, what a scene. I love it. Clue. So guys, I've been watching this game for about 10 minutes. You can place your money between the spaces like for example if you if you want to be between the blue crab and the fish you can do that so you you know hedge in that way and you get like half half the money but when he shakes the die if you get like triple crab if it were to have been triple blue crab the person who got a thousand there would have got three thousand so this is quite the game because so that, that cop right there just rocked up. I thought he was gonna like break this up or something, but he was just like taking pictures and smiling. I'm so confused. Okay guys, I got a little bit more information. It's now about eight o'clock. I was talking to a guy who is over next to the ring. He said, that the fights are probably going to be starting around 9 o'clock, not 7 o'clock. Uh, it is Saturday night, so he was saying there's like a 
Man, I gotta get under a light here. Let me get under a light. Try to get under this temple light so I can talk a little bit. This is cool, by the way. There are some monks out here. Hello. Hello. But he was saying that uh, there's like a fight promotion going on. So there's like six nights of six nights straight of fights. And he was also saying like there should be good fighters here tonight, but it seems quite disorganized to be to be honest. And I don't know what's going to happen. Uh, I hope he's right, and I hope that they do show up in one hour because it's just really a lot of uh, a lot of noise and, and chaos right now. So I'm gonna keep hanging around and see what I can see, um, and hopefully we get fights soon. It's about nine o'clock. First fight is about to start. So. Some little kids you can see in the red red trunks over there. One in the blue over here, so very young kids. It's pretty amazing, all of his trainers are all kids too, so it's quite a show. Over there as well. So, this is my friend who's telling me about how this works here. They, there was money at the end. Yeah. How did the kids get paid? How did the fighters get paid? Uh, the some people, it's like, uh, you, it's, uh, the boxing. Yeah. Uh, so this kid over here won yeah ah, okay so he was collecting the money over there I see so this is the next fighter how many how many matches Will there be tonight? I, I don't have no idea. So this guy's, this kid's bigger, a lot bigger. So maybe, maybe much more. Thank you. Fight three, these kids are smaller than the last ones. The latest kid in black is gonna beat the kid in red pretty badly. Hi guys, it's very, very, very hot today. Even 
I'm always hot, but hot, it's really hot today, right? I'm cold. Very, very hot. It's like, Might be a very hot day today. It's like 35 right now, right? Guys, it's like 9 at night. It's 35 degrees. I can't stop sweating. But I'm glad because even the Cambodian people are hot tonight. So anyway, we're about to see fight four, and the contestants are getting bigger. So maybe, maybe no more kids are fighting now. Maybe something more. Yeah, maybe more. Yes. Yeah, because it went up and down. Yeah, up and down, up and down. And then it was really small, and this guy's bigger. No, my man has the tambuda. So you guys, you can see there's a fighter over there in that corner. He has no opponent. And my friend just told me that they are. Oh, here we go. Somebody yeah, has arrived. Yeah. Ah, but they were they were calling. Can you be calling him? If somebody, if somebody was a similar weight, yeah. they can jump in the ring and fight him. Exactly. Yes. Right. 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 But they didn't arrange the fights before. They did not arrange before. No, they just call. They're just calling and it's just yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. Wow. I thought they were prearranged, but no. So they just really found these guys from like anywhere. So this is wild. It's been about 15 minutes since the last fight ended or maybe like 10 minutes, but they were calling for 60 kilogram contestants and, and uh, they found two. I had no idea that when I came here, I had no idea that it was just uh, random people in the crowd. So I thought it was actual professional fighters, but it's, Definitely not. You guys can probably see that from the uh, from the fighters themselves. They're just kind of fighting wild. But anyway, here it is. They found two more. That was kind of quick. The kid in black. Just put an elbow on back of that kid's head, so I don't know. That might be him. But it's good sportsmanship. But I think that's the end. Just got like a bad cramp or something. He got kicked and fell down. What? Uh, what happened? It looked like he. I mean, the guy in black kicked the guy in red. I think so. Red fell down, but it looked like he had a a cramp or something. I don't know. It's over anyway. Well, I think that's going to be my sorry, uh, sign to call it a night. It doesn't look like they're going to find another fighter for some time. So I'm going to walk out, get to my bike, and uh, call this a video. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Hello. He was like waving. Hello. Alex Hello. to me. Hello. And uh, anyway, I'm going to call this a video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, like, subscribe, do all that kind of stuff. I'll be bringing a few more from Cambodia. But for now, I think that is going to be it. It's getting too loud to hear everything. So see you guys later. Bye-bye.